So that was a little kind of ASMR unboxing. Hopefully you guys enjoy that with your ears quite nicely. There's not much in like a hard drive box. It's, it's just a cable in there and a hard drive. Really not too interesting, but I hope the sound was pretty nice. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna talk about the Lacey Porsche Design mobile hard drive I have over here, which is the product in the unboxing. I'm gonna talk about why I bought a portable hard drive and why I bought this hard drive in particular, some other stuff. So let's jump straight into it. Why did I get a portable hard drive? You see, storage is a nightmare for me, actually a lot of people. For anyone making videos, storage is like a huge problem because videos, well, they take up a lot, a lot of space. They are massive files. So, so star video files take up a lot of amount of space, especially since I moved to 4K, which is four times more file, which means the files are four times bigger than on 1080 because there are four times more pixels per frame. And that is crazy, uh, especially since my laptop is only a 500 gig device and it's just not going to cut it. Also, I've been recently kind of consolidating all the data I have in my house. So finding old hard drives or thumb drives or SD cards, taking all the data and putting them into one spot so I can, you know, back it up easily. I can store it easily. I can, you know, in the case of photos, decide what I want to print out, decide what I want to, you know, delete and whatnot. And these photos are actually kind of important to me because these are all like memories and sentimental stuff and nostalgia stuff. So I've been consolidating all of that, all on my 500 gig laptop, which is not a good idea because it's a laptop and it's got a bunch of stuff installed on there which really takes up a lot of space so we've got premiere pro after effects photoshop illustrator lightroom all this stuff is already installed on my computer and on top of that like csgo is installed as well and then there's the video files and then there's the photo files that's just a lot of data and it's way more than 500, which is the size of the laptop drive. So I needed to expand my storage, which is why I bought a portable hard drive. And in this case, the Lacey Porsche Design Mobile Drive. Why did I get this one? And uh, why did I not get the newer model? Because this is kind of the older model. Uh, there are many reasons for this. So why did I get the Lacey Porsche Design Drive? It looks freaking amazing. Have you seen the look of this? This is in pure industrial design piece of equipment. It's just, oh. So funny thing, um, here, here's a funny story. I posted a picture of this little Porsche design hard drive on Instagram on my story, which you can follow me at ZX Tech, link down below. But anyway, I posted this picture of this and I got six replies instantly within like 10 minutes. Is that the Huawei Mate 20 Pro Porsche design smartphone? And uh, <laughs> no, it wasn't. But yeah, I, it, I'm surprised that a lot of people actually care that uh, about Porsche design smart about the Mate 20 Pro and in particular the Porsche design smartphone and I didn't actually know how it looked until the, those replies. It turns out it looks like a really good phone and because of that sweet industrial design that matches this hard drive, uh, I can see why people would uh, question it. That's how good looking this drive is, that's how good looking Porsche design things are and also I absolutely am a show for Porsche. But anyway, I digress back to the main video. <laughs> so. It is just a block of solid sandblasted anodized aluminum. I'm gonna put it up to the mic so you can hear what it feels like to, you know, brush against it. Yeah. That's what it sounds like because it's just a block of metal. Whole thing is metal. I mean, the two plastic inserts on the side. The new models don't actually have the plastic insert. This is the slightly older USB 3 one, not the USB Type C, USB 3.1 version of this hard drive. So I didn't get that version because I got a mad good price on this one for a two terabyte drive. It was slightly cheaper than the Seagate alternative or WD alternative, which is kind of funny because this Lacey is supposed to be the high end range of Seagate drives. So for a USB 3 drive at the price I got it at, brand new, I could couldn't argue with it, I had to buy it. It was stunning. Another reason why I did get this was that um, Lacey is a very well-known brand for making very reliable drives. I'm sure you've heard about the rugged drives, the orange and silver drive. Um, it's designed by Neil Portland or something like that. And it's uh, USB-C, really nice and fast, really reliable. Basically every YouTuber has used it or uses it before and it's super duper dope. It's like a, a really reliable drive. And this is also from Lacey, so it's got very similar you know, reliability, hopefully, and very similar kind of quality as well. So, uh, and that's why I bought it. Lacey it should be pretty reliable of a brand from what I've read. They're also under Seagate, which is a major hard drive manufacturer. So I have a lot of faith in them being very, very good. 
if I'm sure that if I needed a more reliable drive, I'll just you know open up this enclosure and put something from HGST inside. But um, right now I don't need that, so enjoy this lazy hot. Why did I buy this new? So uh, when it comes to buying hard drives, I definitely recommend you buy them new. Because secondhand drives, you don't know the torture they've been through. They've been they may have been on the server. They might not have been used at all. So don't buy a secondhand drive. Buy drives brand new because you don't want your data to fail on you. You don't want hard drives to fail on you and just give you data loss, and data failure that will literally just kill you, uh, especially if you're doing, say, a professional project for a company. So you definitely want to buy your hard drives new. I'd rather go for a cheaper, lower-end hard drive that's maybe a bit slower if I can buy it brand new versus a second-hand, high-end hard drive because when it comes to a hard drive life and reliability, it really comes down to how intensely it's been already used and if something is very, very well used, it's going to break down much faster even if it's built better. How do I find this device? Well, it's really simple. When you plug this in for the first time, there's a setup tool you have to run. I recommend don't install uh, Lacey's Genie Backup with it or anything. There's no point. Just do the basic kind of firmware setup and stuff. Do the compassioning of the drive and uh, yeah, you actually can choose whether you want the drive to be mostly FAT32 or the drive to be mostly NTFS. I set it to completely NTFS because I don't have any plans to, you know, use a MacBook for work anytime soon. I don't plan to use a MacBook with this hard drive anytime soon at all. So I am more than happy to make the whole thing NTFS. So NTFS means that it's going to work faster and better on Windows, but it is not compatible at all with Apple computers. If you set it to FAT32, it's actually going to work on both Apple computers and it's going to work on both macOS and Windows, but of course it's going to be operating slower. It's kind of give and take. You can have both on the hard drive, you can have one on the hard drive, you can have one or the other. It's really up to you and that's kind of the basic setup. It also tells you to register your warranty in the setup software which is definitely good it comes with a two-year warranty you put in your serial number and everything and uh, if this thing fails you can send it in you can do drive repair you can get a replacement and I if I'm not wrong there is data recovery service at a discounted price if not free depending on your region but uh, yeah very nice little it's very simple setup and very convenient now one thing I found was that initially when I first using the drive it was reading at like eight megabytes per second and this is not because the drive bad or anything it was just because uh, it was a new drive it was the first time spinning up I think that was why because after 10 minutes of transferring data 150 megabytes per second and stayed there very consistently which is a very good thing very nice and fast drive definitely recommend it recommend a newer model as well if you can afford it because it's USB-C and even more faster so far I have been I've had, had a great experience with this drive super super happy oh yeah um, subscribe if you liked it comment if you want to talk Follow me on Twitter for mad tweets. Follow me on Instagram for mad photos. Thank you all so much for watching and goodbye.